Thank you. I so appreciate that. It is uh, delightful just to be anywhere. And um, <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. This is a little um, embarrassing, but I had asked for Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> now what do I do? I want to thank you for this, uh, for this wonderful uh, award to all the critics. This may be the first time we actually agree on something. And uh, watching those clips just now made me think of one word, and that is uh, residuals. But <laughs> I had so many great moments, uh, and I want to thank all the people I had those moments with in every capacity writers, producers, directors, um, agents, managers. I've been so blessed to work with amazing people uh, my entire career, which is now in its 50th year. And, but wait, what's exciting about it is so much more to come. That's what's exciting at this point in my life. Tomorrow is my birthday. And, and I'm gonna be seven years old and as Jimmy mentioned, I'm about to open on a Broadway musical April 27th on Broadway uh, called Mr. Saturday Night. And I can't remember when I've worked harder and had more fun on a project. And I'm serious. I'll be 74 tomorrow. I actually just can't remember. And <laughs> funny people. Entertainers, we start by making our parents laugh first. Our parents, our family, our friends, and I grew up in a time that was extraordinary. My older brothers and I, um, in the early 1950s, when television was this new frontier, it was the comics that settled it. The greatest comics of the day, Sid Caesar, Carl Reiner, Phil Silvers, Ernie Kovacs, Jonathan Winters, and watching them get laughs made me want to get laughs. So before I knew it, I'm standing on a coffee table imitating my relatives, who were these joyful souls, many of them from Rostov on the Don in Russia. My grandmothers were from Odessa and Kiev. They escaped the programs to come to America where they could live free from tyranny. And their laughter, the first laughs I ever got in my life, is the fuel that my engine is still burning today. So I thank you for this, but I dedicate this award to those amazing people in our living room back in Long Beach, Long Island, whose laughter and joy started this five-year-old boy on his way to this moment. And as we all have thought about and spoken about tonight, I pray that somehow, some way, there can be laughter and joy in that part of the world once again. This is a Lifetime Achievement Award, which is a little scary when they say they want to give it to you. Um, <laughs> so I called my doctor and said, do they know something that I don't? <laughs> But to me, but to me, everybody, it's a creative achievement award. My lifetime achievement award is my family, the life I share with the beautiful and unselfish. Let me just finish. I appreciate it. But they give me two minutes to thank you for a lifetime. And my Janice and I will be married 52 years in June. And we've, we've produced this amazing, amazing life together. Um, here's our cast in order of appearance. Um, <laughs> our beautiful daughters, Jennifer and Lindsay, their husbands, Mike and Howie, and our four wonderful grandchildren who are upstairs, Ella, Dylan, Hudson, and Griffin. Listen, I have loved what I've been uh, able to do, and I can't wait for what I'm about to do. And I leave you with this quote from the most amazing person I've ever met in my life and maybe one of the most amazing people you've ever had the joy to witness, uh, Muhammad Ali, who said, if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. So let's keep believing, let's keep achieving, because the world needs us. Thank you so much.